Tonight, we're learning more about the wrong way Metro taxi driver who slammed into another car head on. Both drivers were killed. The driver of the taxi is now identified as 27 year old Abdul Razak Bilal. This was the scene this morning near South Monaco and East Yale Avenue in Denver. Brenda Lise Gonzalez joins us live from East Yale and South Peach. And Brenda, police say that cab driver is responsible for a second crash. Molly, we're more than a mile away from that accident, but this is the spot, the area where police found parts of the cab that matched that specific cab. They also found this, this tire trail leads here in this front yard. You can see this downed street sign. Now police are working to figure out how this driver ended up on the wrong side of the road and how this ended up so far away. It's hard to see this. Here's what's left of a Denver Metro taxi after its driver drove onto oncoming traffic, hitting this Hyundai head on. The cab rolled over onto the median before catching fire. We have a passerby who actually extricated the driver of that cab. Even with help, though, neither driver survived. Turns out the story began more than a mile away. We're getting ready to drive into church. And I'm just looking to my right, and I see all this hecticness. J.J. Ulibarri and his wife first noticed this down street sign, along with this tire trail up this neighborhood sidewalk. And I said, uh-oh, this looks like someone was having fun driving through yards. Just a few feet away, there's a knocked-over mailbox. The driver kept going, though, northbound on South Monaco, where police found the cab's bumper on the side of the road. The route crosses through several intersections, including a major one, East Hampton. You see the ambulance flying that way, thinking... This must be the tail end of that. They were right. The same car ended up nearly two miles away, crossing onto the wrong way traffic and causing this accident. Police are investigating whether alcohol may have been a factor. We're going to be considering a number of things um, to play into the accident. For now, they're talking to witnesses, trying to connect the pieces and understand what led to this. It's horrible. It's, it's horrible. It's, yeah, I, I can't imagine. It hurts my heart. The owner of Metro Taxi released a statement earlier today calling this accident an indescribable tragedy. He says Bilal has been working for the company since last September. Police haven't yet released the name of the other driver. They say there were no other passengers in either car. Reporting live in Denver, Brenda Lise Gonzalez, Denver 7.